Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is TBR Schmidt. This is my wife, Samantha. Hello. And today we are watching episode seven of Masters of the Air. What did you think of the last episode? Last episode might have been one of my favorites. Yeah, it was definitely my favorite. I feel like we have some resolution because we lost a lot of people and we were going through so many episodes thinking that they were gone and they're not, but obviously now we're facing a whole separate issue here. Yeah, I think the reason the last episode was our favorite was it actually spent some time with like three storylines and like really going in on certain individuals. Mm -hmm. And it's not like the show's fault, it's just the reality of the situation that there were such heavy casualties and the uniforms are what they are when they're up in the forts in the air. So it's felt difficult to connect really strongly to a lot of people so far. Mm -hmm. But last episode, I felt like advanced the connection with the individuals like all the way. Yeah. And there were just three drastically different storylines with the retreat and with Oxford and then with Bucky and his situation. And we kind of left last episode on somewhat of a hopeful note because like you said, we did have that resolution of Bucky and Buck being together. Their situation is terrible and it's completely different than what we've had for the show so far. Mm -hmm but at least they're together. Yeah, I mean, we made a lot of references to The Great Escape as well. So it'd be interesting to kind of see how this plays out for these guys in particular. Yeah, so I'm really looking forward to it. I mean, we only have three episodes left and I think we're going to maintain the focus on just a few individuals. And I think that's only going to improve the aspects of this show. Yeah, I agree. I'm excited though to see how they play this out. I also did see a comment or two in regards to wondering if episode nine was gonna be like right in the feels, just following kind of along with the Pacific and Band of Brothers. Yeah, I think there's only nine episodes in this show though. Oh, uh, okay, so maybe episode eight. Yeah, so maybe the next episode will be yeah. like really heavy. Yeah, so I don't know. I think this is an incredible show, though. I'm really enjoying it so far, so I'm excited to see what they do next. So if you'd like to see the full-length reaction for this, as well as everything else that we've reacted to, the link to our Patreon is in the description. If you'd like to interact with us on our Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram, all those links are in the description as well. And with that, let's get into the episode. All they really wanted was news from the front to give them hope. They would be going home. I feel like we've been here for a while, because when they met up, it wasn't all snowy. Yeah, I see you. Come here. Are they gonna eat the cat? What did you say was in the soup? Okay. They ate it. Use the bucket. Damn. Huh. I'm glad they're not like totally cut off from information. The Brits tried a night attack on Monte Cassino. Go. Yeah, you don't want anyone to get caught. Wow. Oh. That is a Jewish name, yes? Oh. It's just a random check. wonder what the dogs are tasked with. Like if they're able to sniff out anything? But like what would dogs be looking for? Right. Yeah, I think he fucked that up. Oh. He left like a nail in it or something, whatever it was. Whose room was that? But they didn't get the headphone. Oh, well, thank God for small miracles. The invasion of Europe was imminent. More missions into Germany meant more casualties, more replacements. It's a whole new group of people. Every one of us had lost at least one close friend. Some guys were reluctant to get to know the new fellas. Makes sense. But someone had to show them the ropes. Good morning, gentlemen. He's like one of the only ones left. Welcome to the 100th. Sir, 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 sir. That was nice. Yeah. We thought Sergeants Quinn and Bailey were among the many casualties. Thanks to the French resistance, they were back. At wow, they actually got back. Yeah. That's crazy. That if a downed flyer made it out of occupied Europe, he wasn't allowed to fly any more missions. Interesting. A ticket home. No way. You make it back, you're done. Yeah. But it actually does make sense. Yeah. It's not just like being nice. But like, really, like, what are the odds of making it back? I'm sure it's pretty low. It'd be good for you to show the new guys that 25 can really get done. Is he close to 25? 
Dave Miner and his boys are at 24 too. I heard he was the only pilot to make it back from Bremen out of 18 ships. Yeah, he's like a legend. And luck had very little to do with it. Pray to God you can fly half as good as him. You might make it a 25 too. Oh, red light. Good night. Now you find your fight. Your crew's on stand now for this one. Is that fine, or would he rather just get it over with? Right. You know, when I was a kid, I built a homemade crystal radio. I'm thinking of giving it a try in here. So I can rustle up. They were so calm. Yeah, Everyone right. Everyone else was so panicked. You hear that? <laughs> it's Berlin. <laughs> <laughs> this has to feel good, right? Uh-oh. Oh. Oh, they letting the dog go? Bring him in the lazarette, quickly. Go back inside now. I assume the guards were getting antsy because the daylight raid was so close. We were told we were targeting Berlin. Every man on base held his breath as we waited to see just how dearly it would cost us. Oh, so it was Berlin. Yeah. And the hundredth was with them. Hey. Ooh, I'm chills. Nine. Ten. This is good. Twelve. Twelve? I feel like they've never counted this high. It's fifteen down. Oh, fuck. I thought sixteen was gonna be high. Again, it was like almost half. Oh. Oh my Damn. god. Oh my god. Is his whole like head peeled off? Holy shit, that thing shredded. Damn. Oh, fuck. Wrecked his leg. I was so hopeful March when they started 15, counting to like 14, 15. Black Monday. 150 of them were from the 100th. Black Monday. Their ship went totally out of control on their 25th. Motherfuckers oh, went after fuck. our guys in parachutes. They killed them all. Really? You saw comments that that was like an unspoken rule yeah. not to do. And the morale on base plummeted. We all needed to distract ourselves from the war. I told myself all I wanted was someone to drink and laugh with. Oh, that's a development. Yeah, I didn't think he was going to ever see her again. Crazy what they're able to accomplish being locked up. I would have absolute radio silence because I would have no idea how to build a radio. No. And it's crazy the things that like become important. Like he said he just did this when he was a kid. Mail call! Who's yours from Buck? Marge. Marge. <laughs> it's crazy that they get mail there. Right? And then I popped the question. She said yes. Wow. I was even thinking maybe you'd be my best man. I will be your best man. Good. It's more reason to keep fighting to get out of here. I'm sure that letter's very common. Tomorrow's mission. Berlin again? Back to Berlin? Jack, it's the same route. It's exactly like yesterday. They don't care if they kill us all, do they? They lost 150 guys and they want to do the exact same thing all over again? It's not working. I don't have a plan yet, but I'll find one. Damn, I was hoping that radio would work. My plan is to get home to Mars in one piece. Why well, you die here? That what you want to do? No, I can't stand this place any more than you. Ten, hut! Like it's only been a day. Do they even have their forts prepared enough to go back? The target for today is Berlin. Jesus, that's the exact same route as Monday. You're exactly right. So I will be command pilot for the entire wing. Does that help? I mean, that's nice, but yeah, they still know it's a fucking nightmare. And this time, Rosie's going up. And it's his 25th, right? And the last people, that I was their 25th, and they didn't make it. Didn't take a mathematician to figure out the odds were pretty bad for Rosie and his crew to make it back from their 25th mission. Seriously. You boys worry about the guns, I'll worry about the plane. Okay? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let's go to Berlin. What a 25th mission. Well, if I was going to be on anyone's plane, I'd want it to be Rosie's. Oh. Our chances of defeating the Luftwaffe were increased with the P-51 Mustang. Oh. 
the best fighter plane of the war. We got some support here. The odds were starting to shift in our favor. Oh, fuck, I'm stressed out. <laughs> Are they going to have enough gas, though, to be with them for the whole mission? A lot of fighters at two o'clock level. Are they friendly? They're crowds! Fuck. Ah, I can't get a shot at them. All right, come on, support. I see P-51s coming in to help. This is going to be chaos. We're over for a win, but I think we missed our turn for the IP. What? We are under Colonel Bennett's command, turning with him to the target. Over. Copy. I don't like any of this. No. I'm just glad they have support with other fighters with them. I feel like that's the first time. We have fighters at 11 o'clock. Uh. D-51's coming in fast. Get ready, boys. That's a lot of support, yeah. though. That's going to feel so good. Our fighters are going to punch us through. Oh my god, what the fuck is this? 30 seconds to target. Dropping bombs. bombs. Wow. Jeez. You did it, Rosie. 25. We're going home. They better have just a totally smooth landing. <laughs> Last chance to buzz the tower. <laughs> They get to do with that, whatever they want. I'm so glad they made it back. Those fighters made all the difference. Yeah. Jack, why so blue, huh? Brass is up in the end of tour requirements from 25 to 30 missions. You have to be shitting me. Only for new replacement crews coming after next week. Any oh, crew in between will have to make 28. Oh, Tw that's still three more. Jesus, Jack, that's 10 more missions for us? Well, that fucked everything. They want us all to fucking die up there, and no one gives a shit. No one makes it to 25, and they upped it. Just the look, though, that Rosie had, I don't think that he's going to leave. Even at 28? At 25. Oh, I thought he still had to get three more. Oh, he was fine. And I just want to know where you've been. Do you want to know where I've been? Or do you want to know where I will be? I like this when they were friends. <laughs> Induction. Oh. Maybe there's some. Yeah, I got something. It's German. Anyone speak German? Yesterday, Berlin took the heaviest bombing of the war, splitting the crap army in two. Wow, just the fact that they got news back. The repeated strikes on Berlin took a tremendous toll on the 100th. We had to completely destroy the German Luftwaffe. So many. My friend Rosie understood this very well, but he had completed his 25th mission. I think you're right. I don't think he's leaving. You say he could go home? Right, not that he has to go home. Where the hell are they going? That's like most of the guards maybe leaving? Is that what that was? It was a lot, yeah. North compound built three tunnels. I've been digging them for over a year. 30 feet deep so the goon seismographs would detect them. Great escape. There'll be severe reprisals as more senior officers become aware of the magnitude of the escape. So that kind of fucks everyone who's still here? Yeah. What the hell am I rushing back home for? To get a letter, you need someone to get it from. That's should never set that part up right. Still time. They're only gonna know this man, not the old man. Because of this great escape attempt, <laughs> Commandant von Lindeiner has been relieved of all duties. That's right. 50 of the recaptured escapees have been executed. There are orders for me to take an inventory of all Jewish prisoners of war at Stalag Luft 3. Uh-oh. There are only Americans in Stalag Luft 3, Major Simulite. From the Luftwaffe's jurisdiction, with the SS and Gestapo. No. Your good behavior would be very much appreciated. So what do you think the odds are now? You want to re-up? And you know the tours of duty have been extended to 30 missions. Would he need another 30? Or just five. 30, I think. I don't think it really matters. I don't think he'll stop. But don't you want to go home? I can't imagine some rookie coming to take my place. And then he gets replaced by another replacement and over and over and over again. You've seen so many replacements. I can't go home. Not until the job is done. One way or another. To shoot them down, we need to get them in the air. As bombers as the bait. No way. Now they're just bait? That's the mission. Bait. Man, if you come back, you come back to just be bait. We could use a new commanding officer for the 350th. Wow. 
Yeah, I'm up for it. Damn. Thank you, Carl. Everyone should be thanking you. I know. I mean, he was up front about it, but it's like... Oh, whoa. I covered the entire building. So she's a spy? Are we Tuskegee men or what? Oh, what, you can't handle? Fighting? All right. That was part seven of Masters of the Air. What'd you think? That was a great episode. I feel like historically we got a lot. Yes. We have Rosie extending, which is That's huge. Huge. You picked up on the fact that he probably was going to stay. Yeah, I mean, from comments and just the name, like you know that he's such a massive part of history and there was no way that, I mean, he already had created such a name for himself and the reputation and the respect and everything, but for him to finish that 25 and to be in the bar listening to them explain that they had extended. There was absolutely no way no. that he was gonna go home. And I got confused. I thought it was 28 for him and 30 for everyone else. But yeah. I guess it was 28 for the new replacements and 30 for anyone after that point. No, it was 28 for anyone that was currently there. Right. Still flying. Like he was done already at 25. I gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. So yeah, they said, I think he had, he even said like, you're good or something. He said something to- You get to go home or yeah, something like that. Yeah, um, like it, this doesn't affect you. So anyone that was already there was 28. Any replacements that come in were 30. Got but it. really between 28 and 30, like imagine if you're on your 24th. Right, and now all of a sudden you got to get to 28. Yeah. And your missions are getting deeper and deeper into Germany. Right, and now we come to find out you're literally just bait. Yeah, that's insane. I mean, that sounds like a good strategy. I mean- If you're not the one in the plane, if you're not the bait. The only thing is that was such a high adrenaline moment for me. Yeah. When they are there with the P-51s and seeing all of these fighters. In previous episodes, when you see all the fighters, it's like, Oh fuck, here we go. It's yeah. like we're about to lose a lot of people. Yeah. This it was like, oh, there's fighters. And then just to see just hundreds of P-51s flying in front of you. Yeah. Like that was like, holy crap. Like I I I was totally in that moment. Like <laughs> that was so sick. And it had to be so I would say comforting or something to know like we have backup. Yeah. And like our backup is going to wreck you. Yeah. And so now it's just like, we know we have superiority in our aircraft. We just need to actually draw you out. It sucks. And yeah, you're literally just signing up to be a sitting duck, essentially. Yeah. But your only hope is that you have to put your faith in the other pilots and their superiority and just hopefully watch them go to work. But That's a lot of faith in other people. Yeah. But also they had like one or two second clip there where like it was really in the thick of it, like a dog fight of everything. It was indistinguishable what the hell was going on. Yeah. Which I'm sure is very realistic. I mean, these things are flying around you in, in uh, completely all directions and they're going so fast. Mm -hmm. It's so difficult to tell them apart. Yeah. It's gotta be just so insane. And I'm sure shit's smashing into, you know, other planes all of the time. By no means is this like safe, but hopefully it's just, comforting to know that you have support, which is something that we haven't seen very often. No, that I guess is kind of goes to show what we have for the next couple of episodes. Yeah, we only have two episodes left, so they're gonna go up as bait, I guess. Yeah, so previously we were lucky enough to be able to get early access to the show. We still have it, but we are watching it. It's now, playing still. Right. So the show's already started on Apple TV. So we were told that there were some scenes, like maybe we had some additional scenes that were perhaps not in the actual like final cut that went out. There's some changes to, I think you said locations. I think locations and dates on the screen. Like yeah. actually listed there, whereas we didn't have anything before. So kind of cool to watch it like this. But my point was that we also didn't have previews for coming up episodes. No, so we had no idea what was coming next. Yeah, so wow. Like we have two episodes left and the amount of stuff that still is gonna play out in this series is right. insane. Yeah, showing a whole new, I don't know what the correct term 
I'm just gonna say division of pilots that we haven't been introduced yet. Yeah. That girl, Subalton something. Yeah. I don't think Subalton's a name. I think that's a captain or a rank mm. or something. And it seems that she is a spy and maybe gets captured or something. Yeah, it looks like she's gonna be in trouble here. That'll be interesting. Yeah, I mean, it was interesting. I don't wanna speculate too much. I mean, but we did see a good amount of her being a spy, the whole new pilots that we haven't been introduced yet. There seems to be fighting between Buck and Bucky. Maybe that's staged or something. Uh, that's As, the first thing that I thought of. Yeah, like that, you know. It's like a distraction or it, it's something, some reason that they're doing that. I don't think that they've just lost it and started fighting. Right, but it ties into what we saw in this episode. To start with Crosby, the stress of war led him in the direction to be more romantically involved with Sandra. Yeah, I love their like friendship. I don't obviously love it as much because now it's like gone a little farther and he's married, but I mean. And she knows he's married. So, I mean, it's a pretty blatant affair. Yeah, but, but I mean, look at their situation. Yeah, the situation, the fact that they're in war and the fact that they're the only two that really understand each other. Yeah. And he simply just can't have these conversations with his wife and stuff. Doesn't make it right, but there is some understanding to the situation that they're in. Yeah, I mean, I liked it when they were just friends and were able to comfort each other. Yeah. Now they're comforting each other in much different ways. <laughs> but that's going to be very interesting because if something happens to her, the toll it will now take on Crosby. I know. I feel like he's, they discussed like, you know, in the beginning that everyone's lost somebody at this point. And I feel like Crosby has lost a lot of people and specifically like his best friend. So I think this would be really difficult for him. And then how would he even explain that situation to his wife? Yeah. If or when he gets home. Yeah. So it's just really messy. And I mean, that's obviously war. But yeah, I mean, that's a big part of it is that there's so many replacements, so many new people that they even said that people don't even really like to get to know each other anymore because it's just like, why do I even want to know anything about you? Because I'm not going to see you tomorrow after this mission. Yeah, they got to protect themselves emotionally, but it was a really cool moment to see like Rosie welcoming everyone and telling them like, I'll be back. I'll take you to lunch just because Imagine coming in and kind of feeling like a pariah, like yeah. nobody wants to talk to you. So there's like both sides of it. So that was really cool to see. And I mean, I feel like that shows what a leader he is. Yeah, and it played into his decision. Like he's, yeah. he knows if I leave, a replacement's gonna come. Yeah. And they're just not going to be as prepared or ready as I am. Yeah. So likely that would mean another replacement. So it's just, just never ending cycle of just death. Yeah. And he's trying to put a stop to that. Right. Seeing scenes of Buck and Bucky, mm -hmm. like we said, that's probably part of an escape. We said that it kind of felt like the great escape. This is the great escape. Yeah, I that was that was cool that they even like by name said the great escape. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I, it started to remind me because I loved Great Escape, but I have such a bad memory. I don't really remember too much of the actual aftermath, other than it was way less effective than I thought. Like I think only like two people really got free. In the greatest yeah game. no it wasn't a lot so it reminded me of like oh yeah there was that scene of all of them getting executed and then to think about the aftermath of everyone else still there that you know there was a change in leadership that they might be turned over to the ss yeah now they're looking for jewish individuals and even that guy was like we're all american like yeah. don't come looking around yeah, that was interesting. And we saw earlier that there was one guy that was like called out. Right, he was called like, that's a Jewish name. Yeah. So it could get very, very bad. And it might be why you tie that in with the aggressiveness of the invasion into Germany. Mm -hmm. Like that might be why Buck and Bucky are like, okay, we got to just get out of here or else we're just going to get executed here as well. Yeah, I mean, at that point, do you really think that you're going to make it out? No. So this was a great episode. There was a lot of high moments and sad moments. Mm -hmm. I mean, like I said, my adrenaline was through the roof when they had that scene of all the P-51s flying past. Yeah. But then I was also heartbroken when the first mission back from Berlin and they're like counting the planes. I just like some of the missions that they've gone on, they've only sent like 15 or 20 or something. So once they started getting to high numbers, I was like, wow, this is great. But then you find out that they sent out 
twice as many as what they got to pretty much. I don't know why I thought that it was always a higher number. I think it was just recently that they did a mission with like 17. So yeah. I, so once they got to like 15, I was like, damn, that's 15 out of 17. Yeah, you think, yeah. Also, it depends like how many planes, like they said, the 25th mission that Rosie's team went on, they said they were only sending out 15 because they only had 15 planes. Yeah. So I think it really depends on the equipment, kind of what they're able to do. Right, what they have available. Mm -hmm. But that was one of the more disturbing scenes in terms of the 15 that did come back and the casualties that they still had on the 15 that came back. Yeah, and that was wild. I mean, we hadn't, I guess, seen like a, a lot of like the actual injuries. Yeah, there's not too much gore in this show. Exactly, that's that's what I was getting at. So that was a lot in that one scene. And I feel like, you know, what stuck with me too is when they opened up that door and it was just like shells. Yes. And you're just like, shit. Like what did these guys just go through? Yeah, yeah, that was a very powerful scene. There were so many, like I said, so many great moments in this episode. Another quick thing was the two guys that were trying to get back through Spain into France, I think. Yes, I'm so <laughs> yeah. happy they came back. And that's crazy. I mean, the the logistics of it makes sense of why they can't go back out again. Yeah. But wow, like they make it back and they get to go home. But obviously, you know, the chances of that, like they absolutely deserve to go home. Yeah, that's uh, like an automatic straight to 25 missions type of thing. Yeah. If you make it back out of enemy territory, essentially. Yeah. So yeah, so many highs and lows in this episode. So much happened. It was also very interesting to see the workarounds of being, you know, in prison or in camp or whatever you call it for them to kind of build the radio yes. and stuff. Yeah. Just the little moments of like hope too. Obviously, Rosie making it to 25 and him flying around, buzzing the town and stuff like that shows other guys that, hey, we can get there too. Yeah. And especially now with Rosie staying there, I think yeah. that will help inspire people even more. Yes. And then even with the camp situation, making that radio and be able to get some insight, like that changed everyone's demeanor and mm -hmm. stuff. So it's all about just kind of like hanging on, even to the little thing of like Buck asking Bucky to be his best man. Just those little moments can help someone just make it one more day. Yes. And I feel like this episode was just great and showing all of that. Yeah, you said highs and lows. It did feel really hopeful, so I'm worried <laughs> for the next episode. Right, yeah, especially this whole bait thing. I don't know how that's gonna go. Yeah. But this was a great episode, and I'm excited to see these last two. Yeah, me too. This series is incredible. So if you'd like to see the full-length reaction for this, as well as everything else that we've reacted to, the link to our Patreon is in the description. If you'd like to interact with us on any other types of social media, all those things are in the description as well. And with that, Peace, everyone. Bye. Bye.